Hello and welcome to the Cloud Inspired channel. So this video shows a step-by-step -step guide on taking an Azure VM snapshot and restoring that snapshot to a new Azure virtual machine. So a snapshot is a read-only copy of a virtual hard disk or VHD and you can use a snapshot for example if you're installing, upgrading new software or making a configuration change where you want to take a point in time copy of the operating system and have the option to roll back to the original state of the operating system in case there are issues with that change. You can take a snapshot of both the operating system or the data disks. So let's get started, but before we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help grow the channel and receive future notifications on up and coming videos. Thank you. So let's take a look at the virtual machine that we want to take a snapshot of. It's Windows Server 2019 with Firefox and Notepad++ installed, just as an example. Before we take the snapshot, so let's shut down the, the virtual machine to make sure any data is written to keep the VM consistent. And this will also clear any processes that are in progress. Okay, good, so now we can take a snapshot by searching for snapshots in the Azure portal. Click Create, and then we can choose our resource group. So we give it a name to clarify this is going to be a full snapshot of a disk with the virtual machine in the name we are taking the snapshot of. We do have a choice of the source of the snapshot, either a disk or a snapshot. So if we choose a snapshot as a source, we don't have any created yet, so none appear in the list. Uh, but this is possible to take another snapshot of an existing snapshot. So we will choose disk and full, not incremental at this stage. And we will also choose standard HDD for the storage type as we don't want the snapshot disk that, that's created to have any zone redundancy. We will then choose the default encryption type. We will require full public access. Then we create the snapshot. So after a disk snapshot has been created, we can then create a disk from this snapshot. So go to disks, click create, and then choose a resource group. And we choose a disk name to create. Source type we choose from snapshot. And we choose the snapshot required and we will change the size of the disk to match the original disk size now during creation. We will then choose the default encryption type. We will require full public access. And then we create the disk. So we will now create a virtual machine from that snapshot disk. So select create VM on the disk we created from the snapshot. Choose a resource group for the virtual machine to be created in. Choose a virtual machine name. Confirm the snapshot disk image and size of the virtual machine being created. We will allow port 3389 RDP remote desktop to this VM over the internet for testing and demo purposes only for this video. So this isn't recommended for live production environments um, as the VM will be exposed to the whole internet. So you would need to lock it down to a source IP or use an Azure Bastion, for example, for security and choose your licensing requirements. Keep the disks and networking as default for this demo and then let's create the VM. Okay, so that's all done. So we can then power the VM up 
um, and then we can connect um, via remote desktop to the VM just to check it out and, and see if the snapshot and VM are the same as the original. Okay, so that's how to take an Azure VM snapshot. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to help grow the channel and get notification of future up and coming videos. Okay, take care and bye for now.